We are at the most northern point in Vietnam and we're going to take a three kilometer walk to take us all the way to the Chinese border. So let's begin the adventure. We think the border is just in a straight line this way. Although it's difficult because the border is actually wrong on both Google and Apple Maps. So it's kind of going to be a bit of a tricky one to find, I think. Fingers crossed it all goes smooth. Well, there we are. We have made it to the border and I have to say that was quite a straightforward walk. It only took us around 30 minutes. If but, even that, yeah. Yeah. But it's worth noting there is um, golf buggies that can take you from the train station to the border, but so much more cooler to say that we walked to the border. So we have now been stamped out of Vietnam and we're about to walk through this gate, which is the last tip of Vietnam and head through it to this big white point, which is China. So let's walk across the bridge. Friendship Bridge, it's called. Is it Friendship yeah, Bridge? so last time we had Friendship Pass, and now we've got Friendship Bridge. I'm actually sure the border between Thailand and Cambodia is also called Friendship Bridge. Not very creative with the names here, are they? <laughs> now, I think we're also the only white people <laughs> at this yeah. border. We've got some funny looks in the queue to get stamped out. <laughs> with like the style of buildings like obviously sort of making some modern skyscrapers here I guess it's China yeah and then like over here it's all your skinny colourful traditional Vietnamese French influence buildings it's cool isn't it just behind me here we have the Red River so this runs through the centre here and it divides China from Vietnam don't know who claims what <laughs> got a river going down this side as well and then like loops up and round you can see a railway line there in the distance as well so I don't know if that still gets used it'd be pretty cool if you can get a train all the way from Vietnam into China I always find these bits like the coolest because literally this bit that we are on just now is literally no man's land so we're not really in any country right now technically because we're out of Vietnam and we're not yet in China so right now we don't belong to anybody They tell me which entrance do you think looks cooler? The white Chinese point or the big arch from Vietnam? I think the Vietnamese one looks cooler. I quite like this one. Never saw anything this sort of style before. There we go as we pass on there. We officially walked from Vietnam to China. Oh. Walked from <laughs> one small town in Vietnam into one small town in China beats um, like getting dropped off at a border and walking over a bridge. I feel like we put in a bit of effort today. <laughs> so we're just joining the queue to get stamped into China. So hopefully it doesn't take too long and we'll see you on the other side. Well, that wasn't so bad. That took like an hour, which is pretty standard for border crossings. Although I kept asking what's my purpose for coming into China and I kept saying tourism. But like there's sometimes the Scottish accent just completely fails you. And they had like six different people trying to understand why I was in China. I said tourism, holiday, vacation, everything just met with a blank face. So sometimes traveling with this accent is quite tricky. But we're in the little border town Heku. Now we've actually read a lot of bad things about this town because I suppose like most border towns, they're probably the sketchiest places in the country. But look at it. Nice. Looks lovely. Nice and bright, nice Year of the Dragon celebrations. We've just noticed that these two high rise flats behind me were actually in Vietnam. So how weird is that? You can be up on the top floor and looking down on a completely different country. That is like mental. I know and some of them actually have balconies. You won't be able to see it. So you could be sitting on your balcony, look this way you see Vietnam and look this way you see China. The strangest thing about crossing this border compared to other land borders that we've done is that there is actually a complete difference within the culture, the smells, the food, like instantly it feels like we're back in China and we've only crossed such a short distance. Now, fingers crossed, this is the station right here. We've literally walked for two minutes, but no, in China there's probably another one and me and Alan have probably booked the one that's miles away. Cause that's what we usually do. <laughs> I know. 
But this train is going to Kunming, six hours, and it only costs five pounds. So honestly, I don't care if this seat has nails coming out it. Five quid for six hours. At least it's going to get us here for nothing, really. I know the unfortunate thing was the high speed train was at 9.30, but we decided that that was a bit too tight to risk booking, so we went we for... We wouldn't have made it anyway, because it's 10. Oh, there we are. We wouldn't have made it. So we booked the half 11, just normal train, which takes a bit longer, but I'm sure we'll get a nap because I am shattered. <laughs> Looks like we found the abandoned train station. <laughs> yes. Ah, great. Let's try and find the proper train station. Shannon, you jinxed that by saying oh, that no, there. No, I shouldn't have said that. I thought we were getting lucky there and just walking straight across the border, straight to the train station. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly a busy little town anyway, isn't it? I know. It's pretty baby. As far as uh, Chinese town goes, I'd say this is probably the liveliest we've experienced so far. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where is Heku North Railway Station? Hello. Uh, you can you can talk. Taxi. Ah, taxi. Thank you, Shishi. Okay. Is this? Oh, we're moving. Ah, Shishi. Thank you. Looks like a little Indian taxi. This. This is the same colours. They have in Mumbai. United of Wait, what? United Kingdom. Thank you. That's in Kerala. 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 Lala, Lala. Lala, Lala. 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 You get like older underground subways. One of us is here and one of us is here. Although it looks pretty dead. Hopefully we can just sit anywhere because I cannot travel backwards. It's a nice little <laughs> dog bowl. <laughs> yeah, what is that? <laughs> yeah. It's not bad, it's not great, but it was a fiver and it was the only one available, so it'll do. Yeah. Although I wish I could lie down. I'm absolutely exhausted. But yeah, as you can probably tell. This isn't going to be the most exciting train, so we're going to try and get some sleep and we'll catch up with you when we're closer to Cumney. So last night when we arrived, we were both completely shattered. We did not get one chance to sleep on that train. And to make things even better, I think we stayed in the worst place that we have ever stayed in our lives. Um, it was not 50 pence a night, that was um, the bed for one person. It was completely wrong online, so we had to book another bed for me. And we were in different buildings, but we were both completely shattered to even care 
So we're not going to embarrass ourselves by showing you because one night in that place was more than enough. But yeah, it was so cool to walk across a land border and compared to the other ones that we've done, you saw a complete difference straight away from Vietnam to China. So that was also very interesting. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.